as I began to prepare my offertory thought for today, I began to experience a common phenomenon for worship leaders here. Lack of inspiration. What can I possibly say that hadn't been said before? I did look back at past offertory messages, and I finally found one which could speak to us today. Way back in 2019, as election day approached, our board had to decide whether to hold our traditional bake sale on that day. Apparently, even then, we were experiencing illness and injury to several of our members. Ultimately, the sale was approved, although not very enthusiastically. But once approved, the bakers baked in quantity, as well as some of our friends, including African Violet Society, Rachel's Kids, and Compassion Neighborhood Clinic, to name a few. On election day, all of these baked goods were sold out by late morning and resulted in a, no, we don't like this word, a profit of $1,200. Mm -hmm. So, what does this story from our past have to do with the present? In my opinion, everything. Practically every time we take up our offerings and present them to the Lord in prayer, we ask Him to accept our gifts, multiply them, and to use them to further His purposes here. In our present situation, we do have a yard sale scheduled for later this month. That's all planned to clean out our houses and contribute to make it a success. We need to remember that we are not limited by our own infirmities or abilities when we are doing God's work as He will furnish us everything we need. Let's receive our tithes and offerings. Thank <laughs> you. 